so hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so in today's video we will see how we can implement rewarded mm -hmm. interstitial ads so basically these ads are shown automatically whenever user performs some actions like whenever the user completes his level and is moving to another level so this ad automatically gets shown so how to implement this ad to implement this ad it is very easy but first you have to learn how you can implement rewarded ads so in the last video i have learned i have explained how you can implement the rewarded ads so this video is going to be very easy so without wasting any time move on to our android studio so in the android studio so now you have seen the last file the last time which we what we created so in the last we we created like how we can show the rewarded ads and how the coin was adding so let's just relearn it for you I have shown you like that this is the zero coin right now and if we are clicking on the video so the ad will be loaded if the ad is loaded it will show and if it isn't so it will slip so it is loaded and let's just wait for some time click on cancel now the 10 coin is added now we will make a rewarded interstitial ad which is automatically called whenever we are navigating from one page to another or any other like it won't be automatically going but for the app it will call automatically so how it will work so it is very easy like instead of this rewarded ad there is only the difference in the definition declaration everything so like this on the rewarded interstitial ad just add the null so it can be done so this much is done okay now in the override method we have to load the ad as always like in every ad almost we are doing this so now in the loaded method what we are going to do in this we will not use a rewarded ad callback like let's just cancel all of this what we have to write rewarded interstitial ad dot load okay so it will ask for the unit id from where we will get the unit id we will get the unit id from here this is the rewarded so it's then go back and paste it over here so in the request you can go for add request in the reward interstitial callback so over here we will going to use this one and we will load the ad and in this we will load the error so we want this one and also this one now demo so in the add loading we are going to write ads equals to add and in whenever the ad is failed to load we will just print the error like why it failed to load and we will load the ad again okay this much is the the so the lead load add method will be working so in the show add method what we are going to do now over here you can see that the as dot full screen content callback is already there so you don't need to change anything over here or else or if you want you can remove this one you don't need it only this two are needed after that over here ads dot show on user on reward add without your add and this syntax is already done properly so now you just have to take the coins and whatever and one more thing like you can see item dot type there is also one option of type so like what type you are getting okay so if you want you can see that also and if you don't you can't like you just have to see this one this part is important so let's just click on that and go to the android studio so now when we are clicking on this button so our interstitial rewarded interstitial ads is covered now on click of this now you can see the ad is added so basically now it is almost similar to the rewarded ad but in the games like 
we assign some task right like watch one video to get 10 coins watch one video to get 20 coins and those are when we are like for for task basically they are for task but whenever we are so moving from one level to another so at that time we can show this type of ads so this type of ads will help us to complete like will help us to show the ad during the navigation of the screen so like let's see how we can implement it okay so now this button will simply navigate it will act as a navigator so what i will going to write i am going to modify the method how so on the show adds equals to null and over here we will take one not over here in the show add method we will take callback and basically this will be the code or anything like let me just show you so let's just call it navigate okay so add fail to show full screen content or add dismiss so after the add is dismissed you just have to do one thing if navigate just use the navigator dot push replacement to the material page root and from the context to new page there is no new page yet i am going to define it so new underscore page it will be similar to this one but not fully like it won't be having any loaded ads it will only have a buttons FRs, and it will also not have the coins and all it will just be it will also not be a stateless convert to stateless widget and reward it and over here we will write just navigated and over here also we don't want a floating action button also so it will be a basic page now come back to the screen and let's just change something over here and that will be page now just import this and over here similar to this we will copy this and we'll also put in the if the edge is add is null at that time also navigate so it is done so what we have to do now on the on click of floating action button we just have to call the show add and it will it is saying to navigate so we are right yes we want to navigate so true and just run it go back to the app and let just and let this app run now it is run click on the add button so it is saying navigator why it is saying navigator because the ad wasn't able to load so the ad wasn't able to load so it directly navigated now let's just rerun it and this time we will wait for some time so that the ad can get load so let's just wait for some time until now the ad should get loaded so now the ad is get loaded so let's just wait for some time let's me click this okay so now you can see we can navigate it to different page so this is how like whenever the user completes the level or whenever the user clicks something so we can show this ad in such way like between the page navigation we are showing the ad so we can use the rewarded ad in this way so that's it for today's video thank you